Good morning, YouTube land. We are starting day six of the 2021 weed harvest. Now, if you're wondering why am I in a small SUV and not my pickup or a combine or a wheat truck or a tractor and grain cart, it's because we've had several breakdowns in the past 24 hours, and I'm headed to John Deere to go get some parts. Tired enough, we go. That truck ain't gonna load itself. ago the grain cart sheared a gearbox and so it is sitting in the field with a load of wheat on it. I have a gearbox ordered hopefully it will be in in a couple days. Yesterday evening the smaller 9500 combine of uh, the straw walker bearings went kaput. So I am on my way en route to the local John Deere store known as Western Equipment to pick up some parts. And it's already 89 degrees outside at 1024 in the morning. I think it's gonna be hot, but we're gonna have to deal with it and fix this thing in combine. Here we are arriving. They're not too busy. Look at all that green stuff. So here I have a box of eight straw walkers for the 9500 combine. We'll swing around over here on this side of the truck and promptly get started. I bought myself for the immediate moment, but hopefully Everybody else will get here soon and we can knock this project out. So it is 7 p.m. I've officially been working on this combine for eight hours. It took five trips to the John Deere place, which is luckily only five miles away. Chaz and I are dead beat dog tired. But I'm going to pull this thing out of the way, fire it up, and hope everything is good. Sweating. This is what you call a thick spot. Lighting right there is very good. It's kind of dusty too. Slow down to 2.3. And this is some thick weight. If you're interested in how things worked out, it was a long day. I spent literally every single bit of the day working on the combine. I headed to John Deere about 10 o'clock this morning. Ended up making five trips back and forth just for various reasons. Luckily, there's only five minutes away where we are. We've got three dealerships within 20 miles of either direction, so we're always pretty close. And we spent literally, I mean, at, at one point it took three of us. I was on the side reaching in to wiggle something right in here. And then Avery and Chaz are inside the combine laying on the sieves and the chafers upside down, pushing up on the straw walkers, bitch pressing the straw walkers, which at the time, because when the combine kind of malfunctioned, it was right in the middle of the crop, full of crop, digesting everything. So the combine was full of the, the wheat and chaff and straw and all that stuff. So there was, you know, a lot of weight of straw sitting on the straw walkers themselves while we're trying to replace these bearings, which is not easy. There's some stuff been up, chewed up, mangled up a little bit that had to be a little, hammer hammer and tap tap and whack whack you know what i'm saying but it is fixed barely but it's fixed it's going to be okay to run and finish up i think we only lack three or four days of cutting wheat it should not be a problem we'll have to you know in the winter time next spring take it back apart and make sure everything is 100 percent right maybe re replace or tweak a few things i cut with it from 8.15 to about 11.15, so I ran it for three hours. And as far as I know, zero problems. Once it gets in the daylight, it's currently midnight. I'm sitting here getting gas for go home. Tomorrow morning, we'll get there and get them all checked out, make sure everything is still good with it. And hopefully have a mostly trouble-free rest of the harvest. I was calculating up, we have about three days worth it's going to stretch into the weekend but i think we'll not do anything on sunday and finish up on monday should be pretty easily easily winding down it's going to go well so i'm going to leave you with some drone footage of some daylight drone footage action of uh hopefully some big fat windrows of hey
for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. I'll have a, maybe one more of the hoe harvest videos, maybe a post harvest, but showing some of the hay and some information on how the wheat yields turned out. But once again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you guys being here. My life be like. Mm -hmm.